Hey, what's going on, y'all? So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the VR4D custom MetaHuman clothes for Unreal Engine 5. Now, I made a couple of videos about this, but in this one right here, I'm going to go over just a little bit of what this is all about. Now, as you all know, I got this pack right here for the custom MetaHuman clothes. So that's what I'm going to be showing you right now, just to kind of give you a little bit of taste of what this package is all about right here. And I'm also going to get into Blueprint to just kind of show you how this all works out if you're going to use it like this blueprint wise right so we're here and if i go to vrd 4d human well, let's take a look at the mail first this is just the standard map that comes with the pack so i'll go to modern human modern mail and then i'll go to blueprint and you're gonna see a character data asset now big thanks to vr4d for sending me an email and pretty much explaining to me how this works because it is a little bit of confusing but hopefully after watching this video right here uh, it's gonna make a lot more sense okay so I'll go ahead and double click this data assets and I'll go to mail, body and outfits and I'll go to outfits right now. And you're going to see there are 23 indexes in here. And what's cool is that each one of these indexes contain a different type of outfit. All right. So if you see index zero, if I go to close right now, top and bottom, if I just keep twirling down, you're going to see that the outfit for this is here. And if I go to index one, I do the same thing, close top. Bottom, you're going to see that there's another outfit right there. This is a full outfit. So if I go to maybe three, again, I can go all the way down. And this one, not body parts, clothes, I have a top right now. Again, this is a full outfit. But if you start going down to maybe 14 or so, I'll go to clothes, top, and bottom of this index. You're going to see a top five for index 14. And in the bottom one, you're going to see you have more indexes within that for the bottom. So I have zero, one, two, and three. Okay, so this is all good, but let me go ahead and show you what this is all about. So I'll minimize this for now. So with that being said, if I click on this character and I go to the details panel of this character and I scroll down right here, you're gonna see you can randomize the look, the gender, everything. There's so much control and you don't really have to know anything about blueprints because it's pretty easy to use. Uh, you're going to go to the outfit index, and as you can see, this is at zero right now. And as you saw, index zero has one outfit, which is the one you're looking at right now, shirt and a t-shirt. But if I change this to index one, not the hair, the outfit, you're going to see that this is going to change to the index number one, as I showed you right here. See, this is the outfit you're looking at right now, civilian male two. Right, minimize that. And then if I go to the one that's 14, you're going to see that we have one top and then four different pants options. So this is going to go ahead and compile shaders or whatnot. So I'm just going to wait for a second and then we'll go right back to it. All right, so this is outfit or index number 14. Now, if I go to top cloth index, it's zero. But if I go to the bottom cloth index, as you can see, we have different pants options here. And I can actually change the cloth index for number two. Because remember, we had about four different options in that index according to the DA asset right here. All right, so you can see right there, I changed it. If I go to one, you're going to see that that's going to flip over to a different one. And again, there's there are four in that index. But that's pretty much how the system works. You have all of these different combinations and additionally you can obviously create your own and again what's very cool about this is i tested it a little bit i can actually export these assets or these clothes out to my own project and use them because if you look at the actual clothing of this the mesh and whatnot they're actually rigged to a meta human skeleton obviously as you can see right here so you don't have to use this blueprint system you can just create it yourself if you want to, or use the clothes here that they have and use it in your project. And that's very cool. And I think, to be honest, this is what makes this thing worth it right here. Now, some of y'all wanted me to kind of go get closer on this clothes, I guess. You wanted to see it kind of up close as far as the quality of it. Uh, honestly, as far as me, this is so much worth it because creating these from scratch, obviously you're going to need a software and then you're going to need a lot of time and rigging it that is a different different uh situation so here are the clothes right now and you got this girl right here and they do have custom textures 
for the female. Because as you all know, the meta humans come with this ugly gray underwear, uh, but they do have custom textures, so you don't have to worry about that. So if I go to press F11 right now, let's take a look at the female real quick. And again, if you go to blueprint and DA character data asset, you're going to see we, they have all these outfits right here. Female has 25 different clothes combinations. So this is female top and then the bottom, you have two pants for index uh, number 25. So if I go to modern female and I'll go to meshes and I'll go to, let's see here, tops, make this bigger here. You can actually have stuff like this right here because the meta human does come with a custom skin. So that's very good. This is very hard to do uh, if you're just using traditional meta humans. I mean, obviously, if you're good with Marvelous Design and Maya or whatever, or Blender, then you can make this. But for me, I would rather just buy it. <laughs> so I don't have to worry about all that mess because it's no joke. This is, this is pretty difficult to do. So I'll go to Blueprints and let's take a look and see if I can find uh, which, uh, which top that is, which index it is. So that's not that one. There's just so much clothes options, man. It's freaking amazing. So I'll go to top. Here, here's a tank top right now, index number three. So I'll go to the female and I'll just drag this down. Same thing, if I go down, I can change the outfit index to three. And then as you can see right there, it's gonna load up the tank top. Now I can actually remove the bag here as well if I don't, if I don't want that bag. I'll just turn off the accessory right there, accessory zero one. And let me put this in full screen so you can see a little bit better. But this tank top looks freaking amazing, right? I don't know if I have any tank top in a meta human creator. I don't remember. But let's keep looking. Let's let's see if we can find some other one. I'm gonna try and see if I can find that outfit that I kind of showed you. That's like an overall right there. Not that. That's a full outfit. There's so much, so much friggin' combination. This is ridiculous. So this is a full body set again. And I guess this is good because you can see everything. There's a nice dress right there. Because I know this is a pretty big purchase, to be honest. It's, it's not cheap, but at the same time, I used to pay people to rig one cloth and it costs a lot more. A lot more than what I paid for this, so... To per I, I do have that perspective of getting custom clothes. First, I got to buy it and then have somebody rig it. It's not cheap as far as right now because it's so new. Not a lot of people know about it. Even if you go to Fiverr, nobody knows how to do this. Uh, here's a nice top right here. And I guess we can use that one. It's 13. Go ahead and go back to the index. So again, I do have a different point of view of it here because I've had this created uh, I, bought, I would buy something and have somebody pay or find somebody and then, you know, pay them to rig it. Again, that's that's no joke. So here's a little working out kind of cloth, which is nice. And as you can see, this is what I was kind of talking about. Um, if you have the regular meta human, you're going to see that bra here, which is kind of ugly. I know a lot of people don't like it. But this outfit right here is already ready, like a workout outfit. And the shoes look freaking good too, man. And again, this is just the beginning. That's what's cool about this. This is their very first product. And I did talk to them and they are actually considering making more, you know. So that's very good because like I said, the quality of this here, this is top notch. This is the best I've seen in the Epic Marketplace. This is in the Epic Marketplace. Um, but... That's pretty much it. I just wanted to show that because I did get a lot of questions whenever I made a video about this VR 4D. Uh, if you want to check it out, I'll put the link in the description and in the comments section below. Like I mentioned in my social media, Xsense did give me one year of NVN Plus. So what that means is I'm going to be able to stream live in Unreal Engine. So I have the Xsense window starter right now just to kind of test it out. And I do have the face good helmet right now on my face. So this is face live face, live facial animation, driving the meta human. And I am streaming this onto OBS. And as you can see, this is live. Mm -hmm. A 
be. But yeah, let me know in the comments below what y'all think about this pack. In my opinion, it is totally, totally worth it. But at the same time, I'm going to leave that decision up to you. I'm just showing you what this all looks like so you can make a better decision. If you all have any questions, let me know. And like always, thanks for watching. If you learned something new in this video, make sure you like and subscribe. I'm trying to hit 100,000 subscribers this year. That would be really cool. Although, it's probably not going to happen. Maybe early next year, hopefully. But with that being said, I'll see y'all later. Hey. No. I don't have any, I don't have any finger data, bro. Eh, who cares?